Okay, so I had just gone through introducing Moodle to you. I'm going to go ahead and introduce my language labs to you. So um, if you come out here and you click on any, any of these weeks, it's going to tell you at some point that you need to go to my language labs. There should be a link embedded there that you can click on, or you can click on um, the link to the side. I have a link to my language labs. Any of those are going to take you to my language lab. Okay, so what you'll want to do to get yourself started, hopefully most of you remember have, have been in 111, so you already know how to do this, but this video will tell you how to set yourself up in my language labs, and right here is the course code that you'll need to enroll. So if you're already set up and your account is still valid, then when you go in, just hit enroll in a course and plug in this course code. Um, and if that's not the case, then watch the entire video up here to know how to get yourself started. Um, and hopefully you guys remember that the site comes with an e-text, which is sufficient for me. This is your book. Um, and you can use this as opposed to having a hard text. Um, and so if you choose to do that, you could also set up an e-text. There's an app. So these two links take you to instructions for setting up the app on your tablet. You cannot do it for your phone, just for your tablet but you can set up your e-text on your tablet and then you can flip through, like if you have an iPad, you can flip through like you would an e-book. Um, but you don't have to, you can, you, can use, you can use what's out here as well. Um, so if you have an assignment, when you come into Moodle, it says you have to complete these activities. If you go out here to my language labs and you click on the date where that assignment was made, then you're gonna see those activities populate right here. Um, you do want to check with Moodle because you'll notice that I only assigned the SAM, the Student Activities Manuals Activity, SAM, S-A-M. I did not assign something else, but you'll notice some of these things are tutorials. Like these are the SAMs, but this is extra practice, tutorials. Um, these are SAMs, then there's some more tutorials and extra practice. I will post extra things out there, things that would help you complete the work that's assigned. You can either do them or not do them. I am only going to look at the things that I assigned, which are SAMs and that quiz that you see right here. Because if you go back out here, it'll tell you that there's a quiz. Um, so anyway, uh, just make sure you check with Moodle because there'll be extra stuff out here that you can use if you're a student who's conscientious and likes to go through everything possible. Or if you're struggling with something, then you could look at them. But, but just note that they're not required. So if you're running out of time and you feel like it's too much work, you, you do not have to do them. Okay? And I know this first week is pretty work intensive, so that may be the case. Um, what else is there? Uh, if you see at the top, I think you can change your font to bigger if you need to. It might just change the font up here. I'm not sure it changes the font within an activity, but you can do that. Um, there are also, that's a link to tutorials. This takes you to e-text. You also have a glossary where uh, words are um, defined for you, words that are used in the text. You can use the verb chart. This might come in, come in handy more when you're starting to write for me, which will be mid to the end of the core, uh, no, I'm sorry, you're 112, so it'll be pretty early on. So here's abarcar. We we're going to use the present, so you could do present indicative, see how it's conjugated. We'd also use the preterite, see how it's conjugated. Uh, we'll probably get to maybe the imperfect. You can see how it's conjugated. You might could do um, present. Let's see, with the present progressive, you would just want to get the participle. There's the present participle. That will tell you um, you use that with a star and make the present progressive. So anyway, that's a nice feature. And that pretty much sums up what you're going to... Oh, for, I forgot. I also have multiple weeks um, uploaded. So if you want to work ahead, you can. There's January. You can click and go to uh, February and March all the way through. So you can go ahead and start working on whatever you so choose to work on.